So let's take a look at some of our Alaska headlines for this Monday morning, March 6th, 2017. It is the official restart at the Iditarod today, only the third time in history that the restart is going to be held in Fairbanks as opposed to before that it was in Willow, before that in Wasilla. Uh, and basically the race itself has been going on since the 1970s. And it's a not, not, a, not a real reenactment, but it's kind of a tribute to that Surum run to Nome, uh, which actually went from Nenana out to Nome. Uh, the, part of the whole issue that historically is fascinating is that the Surum first went from Seward which is down south of Anchorage, up to Nenana by rail. So it's kind of, it's a tribute. Anyway, restart is today. A lot of folks are very excited about it. Uh, I, an airline has unexpectedly quit in uh, the rural areas of the state. Ute Air, which was one of those regional carriers out in the bush, carrying both passengers occasionally and freight, just stopped operations effective immediately. Alaska lawmakers have gotten a big hike in their daily expense payments because it's tied to the federal per diem. And the reactions have ranged everything from face palms to chuckles about, you know, this is why we need to change the system. Well, while you're chuckling about the fact that you're getting uh, a big boost in terms of thousands of dollars, we're talking $275 a day just to eat whatever per diem. Uh, I mean, seriously, this is, while well, the state is facing a $3 billion budget deficit, and you're talking about taking the PFDs from the people. Let's work on that. Speaking of PFDs, there is a bill that has been introduced that would return the PFDs to the Fairbanks Four. Those are the four guys who spent 18 years in prison only to finally have their uh, convictions overturned because somebody else confessed to the murders. Alaska has begun this year with the highest unemployment rate in the nation. Not entirely unexpected, given that we have now officially entered into a recession here. And the Juno was surprised by an avalanche, uh, surprised in the sense that they had set off a controlled one in one area, and then all of a sudden a different one went off. That that different one, though, happened in a well-known shoot. It's an avalanche has happened there regularly. They don't think any homes were damaged, but they're saying, hey, look, if you notice some damage, let us know. Also... There's been more pressure put on OCS, that's the Office of Children's Services, as Tammy Wilson continues her investigation. It looks like the latest issue has to do with the fact that OCS has been using Social Security benefits for the children that have been taking those funds and using them for OCS. Fairbanks City Council is voting tonight on increasing garbage fees. And the National Park Service has predicted the future of shipping in the Bering Sea for 2025. They've come up with this really neat little computer graphic showing how they think it might work. Lastly, with the Iditarod restart happening today, traffic obviously is going to be affected in Fairbanks. They're closing Airport Road for several hours, and there are also some suggestions as to where you can go to watch it that's not. Well, the Crowns check out the today's issue of the Newsminer for that. If you like what I'm doing, please support me either through a direct subscription at RadioFreeSpeech.com or at Patreon. And if you'd like to learn how you can support me without using your credit card, send me an email, Steve at RadioFreeSpeech.com.